Hey everyone, Coach Cassandra and Coach Brandon here, and today we're talking about breathing and bracing in the bench press. We talk about being able to have optimal spinal mechanics and breathing and bracing mechanics in that ribcage over pelvis posture. However, in the bench press, the rules kind of change because now we're talking about being able to breathe and brace not only in a supine position, but in a global arched position. So Brandon, go ahead and lay back and get set up here. So just because you're creating a global arch with the bench press doesn't mean that the rules change for the breathing and bracing mechanics. It's going to feel a little bit different because you're not in that completely stacked position. However, in the bench press, when you're set up in your optimal uh, global arch, the things here in the trunk still don't move. We're not, we shouldn't be seeing differences in spinal, uh, spinal position mid-movement. And that will, for that reason, the trunk stability, the rules around breathing and bracing still apply. So a, bit, a common fault that we tend to see, we're gonna go ahead and unrack, are one, either people are trying to create more of an arch and so they end up relaxing here and kind of pulling their sternum up and letting that rib cage protrude, right? Or they forget about what's happening here and they start reverting back to some chest breathing mechanics. And as that happens, one, you can see how his shoulders move around just by a breath. And as he does that, you also see how uh, his stomach kind of sinks in and his rib cage pops up right here, right? So when he braces and breathes, we still want to see the 360 degree expansion happening through his trunk. Go ahead and do that, Brandon. Yeah, and as you can see now, we're seeing less of that sunken in abdominal cavity, right? We're seeing that 360 degree expansion. I can put my fingers here and as he braces, my fingers expand outwards, and he still never changed his spinal positioning. If anything, that brace is also going to help reinforce that global extension that we're looking for in the bench press. It's also important uh, because we want to make sure that our lats and our shoulders are set in a good place. If we're having a lot of rib cage movement, then we're starting to lose the stability of the lats and shoulders in the bench press, and we don't want that. Brandon, anything to add? Yeah, so with the bench press, a lot of times, because we're in extended position, people kind of ditch the idea of good breathing and bracing mechanics, so we definitely don't want to do that. They're still paramount. They're still going to help everything be stable. It's still going to help the leg drive go up the chain into implement. It's going to do a lot of really positive things for us. So still absolutely paramount, still one of the most important fundamental pieces of loaded movement, even in the bench press. And luckily in the bench press, your breathing and bracing is on demonstration. Your belly is the, the thing that's the highest in there. So it's on, it's on full display. It's really easy to see if somebody's breathing and bracing correctly or not. So be sure to actually look at it um, <clears throat> look at it, cue yourself for it, and make sure you're doing it correctly. We should see global expansion still. And again, we should see very little of the chest moving vertically. Again, we want that nice horizontal breathing pattern for optimal IEP and uh, good uh, full body stability for the bench press.